Welcome back to Titanium Man Garage. And uh, today I've got another quick tip of the day. So you ever been uh, working on your four-wheeler and uh, get her all running good? All of a sudden you put everything back together and she just doesn't seem to want to run right. Well, let me tell you, this has happened to me quite a few times. Uh, you get the plastics all back on and it uh, doesn't seem to want to run. Let me show you what I got going on here. I'll stir it up. Let the water warm up a little bit. It runs good. Well, I hop on it. It dies. So why is that? Well, let me show you. I got the choke cable coming down and around. This one seems a little long. And I've got the throttle cable right here. And uh, you know, we put the cover on, everything kind of pulls back. And as that curves, that is causing the cable to pull slightly and causing the butterfly in the carburetor to open up. And uh, the same with the uh, choke. The choke is, uh, I can see it's kind of curved up here. Uh, I had everything adjusted with the plastics off, which was a mistake on my part, but it was just much easier because, as you can see, it's kind of hard to get to. So my thought is, once I put the plastics back on, I put some pressure on the cables, you know, you bolted the tank down. So, let's see if I'm right. I'm going to pull the plastics off, and uh, we'll see if this thing runs uh, like it did before. I mean, I was doing burnouts with this thing with the plastic off. Put the plastics back on, and well, you saw how she ran. So here's what I came up with. I assembled everything, wiggled the cables around. So I replaced the choke cable, and uh, started running really good. The one I had was uh, a little longer, and it was kind of stiff when I would pull it in and out. So this one moves in and out real nice. Replace that. So I think the choke was the majority of the problem is why uh, it was choking out once I hit the throttle. But then as I gave it more gas, fuel was uh, dumping into the engine more. But you know, that's something you learn as you go along. You know, I had it running beautifully, drove it around, came back in the garage, put it all back together. Um, like I said, sometimes you have to do this twice and yeah, it's a pain in the butt ripping the plastics off, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, I got the plastics off. I adjusted the choke cable. And let me show you what I got. Yeah, I uh, adjusted the choke cable, kind of moved the throttle cable around a little bit, and now she seems to be running fine. Uh, now I'm going to put the plastics back on and uh, see if that makes a change. So keep that in mind if uh, you're taking your plastics off, making uh, adjustments, uh, rebuilding your car and putting things back together. Uh, also make sure you reroute your, uh, your cables back the way they go. I just recently bought an ATV that was running horrible and I realized the guy had uh, did some work to it and he ended up wrapping the choke cable around the handlebars and back around and up well that was letting the choke stay open more because you're flexing the, uh, the wire so yeah I wasn't doing anything I straightened out the choke cable and uh, it runs good now so keep that in mind while you're uh, you're working on your ATV. Plastics all back on. Choke cable adjusted. I'm gonna see what this does. We're in gear. Woo! No problem. Problem solved. So, like I said, if you have an issue with you know, you're repairing your ATV and then you put the plastics back on and all of a sudden she doesn't want to run. 
give that a shot. Adjust your cables. Just kind of go over everything. You, you know, you may have uh, uh, routed the uh, cables and the wires differently. Um, I've seen it time and time again where, you know, somebody did some repairs and uh, even a wire harness for that instance uh, uh, wrapped it around the wrong way and um, didn't contact. So keep that all in mind while you're working on your ATV and uh, hope you like this little quick tip of the day. Hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe. I've got plenty of Polaris repairs.